people know about Walla Walla Community Hospice. They know the agency serves those who are in the last part of their lives, along with their families. Less people, however, realize everything hospice offers. Arguably, the most visible component of hospice is the tiny army of patient care volunteers. Right now, patient volunteers, we have about uh, 15, and we're hoping to recruit uh, more volunteers to be patient care volunteers specifically. We'd like to have um, one patient volunteer for each patient that we have. Our census runs 29 to 32 patients. And patient care takes many forms. For Whitman College student Stefan Wheat, the reality of the hospice services he provided for the Virgil Kilmer family ended up some distance from his original starting point. Well, you know, my my experience this year with hospice has been very different than what I thought it would be. I was under the impression that I would be working directly with healthcare professionals more. A volunteer might find themselves running errands, doing household tasks. At 92, Virgil Kilmer is succumbing to his chronic diabetes and several other ailments. In his work with Virgil, Stefan learned that by this point, relationships are the only real medicine left to the elderly man. Well, I, I hope my experience with hospice will really teach me a lot about working with a patient over an extended period of time and really developing a relationship with them. Then the other side of it is that I think one of the hardest things doctors have to deal with is the prospect of death, especially after developing that relationship with a patient. Well, I won't be around. Well, I don't know. It seems yeah. like you've been around for quite a while now. Yeah, that's right. They ought, to, they ought to put a limit on it. It didn't take long for Stefan to find out his real client was Virgil's family. In this case, Virgil's daughter, Sue Kilmer. And really, my experience this year has, for the most part, really developing a relationship with Sue. I started taking care of my dad um, about a year ago when his wife died suddenly. He's uh, uh, become uh, housebound. His legs have failed more than they He was using a walker um, when I moved here. Now he needs help getting into a wheelchair from his, from his recliner or from the bed. I can start feeling quite alone with him and that responsibility um, because he is frail. That's, that's really the, tran the transition that I've really like, come to know about hospice is that it's more about helping the family than the patient because the family goes through so much and it's really, it can be really taxing on them to um, you know, really just put their life on hold in order to in order to help their their loved one. I don't know if Stepan has any idea what he's going to be doing when he comes here because it's always different. Most of the time, most of the time I'll have him start out mowing the lawn. Um, he'll make Dad's lunch if I decide to take off and go while he's here. Even though Virgil may not have been the primary focus of the hospice volunteers' attention, Stefan's efforts were not lost on the guy who took care of his family and others for his entire life. I don't know what I'd do without him. Sue, for certain, realizes what Stefan and hospice have meant to her and her dad. Uh, we've gotten to know several people from hospice and, and look forward to, to having them visit. Um, it just seems like he doesn't need much company, but... Um, the company that he does get is just is just fine. It's really it helps his um, his spirits too. He's he's an amazing guy. Virgil's an ama amazing person, <laughs> but he's a very private person. Why do you say that? <laughs> a lot of the time he doesn't talk, but you can definitely get the impression that he really enjoys your company, even if there are no words being spoken. What kind of a watch is that you got? Oh, just a digital watch. Seems like you got a pretty good watch there, though. The time is 10.50 a.m. Wow! That's an impressive feature. My watch can't do that. It tells you what time it is.
Force Stefan, the time with Virgil and Sue, opened an unexpected door. Becoming welcomed in that family and someone that they expect and someone that they can count on every week is is a really powerful thing because they've they've invited they've invited me into their into their home and into their lives into the during this really sensitive part of their lives. And I'm amazingly appreciative of that because it, it's just a really it's just a really beautiful thing.